In this video, we're going to look at a conversion called a dual unit conversion. Dual unit simply means two units. Dual means two. And, uh, an example, that might be something like miles per hour that you drove to work today. There's two units in there, miles and hour, connected by this important word, per. Now, per, that important word is going to tell us where the fraction bar goes. It's going to be miles per hour. So the miles are in the numerator, hours are the denominator, and per is that fraction bar. Now, we can't convert both of those units together at the same time. With dual units, we will have to convert one unit at a time. In other words, we'll make the numerator what we want it to be, and then we will make the denominator what we want it to be to get our final answer. So if you're traveling 100 feet per second, and you want to know how fast in miles per hour that was moving, we can set this up using dimensional analysis. We've got 100 feet, per is the fraction bar, which means everything afterwards, the seconds, have to go in the denominator. 100 feet per second. And then we'll start setting up conversion factors to change the feet per second into miles per hour. Notice we need to change the numerator and the denominator. We're going to change those one at a time. First, we're going to change the feet into miles. So we don't want the feet. We need to get rid of the feet. To get rid of the feet, they have to go in the denominator. They're already in the numerator. And we're going to change those feet into miles. We'll look up on a conversion chart that one mile is 5,280 feet. Now the feet are gone, and we have the miles we want in the numerator. That's good. The numerator is done. So now we'll focus on the denominator. We don't want seconds. We need to get rid of those seconds. So we'll set up another conversion factor. Seconds right now are in the denominator. For them to divide out, we need to put seconds in the numerator. The units tell you where to put everything. Use the units. What can we change seconds into? Well, we can't change seconds into hours. We don't know how many seconds are an hour, but we do know how many seconds are in a minute. One minute is 60 seconds. And when we do that, the seconds divide out completely, and we're left with minutes. But we don't want minutes. We want hours. So we need another conversion factor to work towards what we want. We don't want the minutes, so in the opposite location, in the numerator, we put the minutes, and we're going to change those to the hours. One hour is 60 minutes. The minutes are gone, and we finally have the hours that we want. We've now done all the setup, the units telling us where to put everything, converting one unit at a time. We just have to chug this out on our calculator. In the numerator, 100 feet, I'm sorry, 100 times 1 times 60 times 60 miles. We've got 360,000 miles over 5,280 times 1 times an hour is 5,280 hours. So when we divide by 5,280, hours, we see that we're actually traveling 68.18, after we round, miles per hour. 100 feet per second is 68.18 miles per hour. Let's try one last conversion here. Let's change 25 miles per hour into kilometers per minute. Well, we start with the 25 miles per is the fraction bar, hour. We have miles per hour. We want kilometers per minute. 
which means we have to change the miles and the hours, the numerator and the denominator separately. So to get rid of the miles, we put them in the denominator, but we don't know how many miles are in a kilometer. The only way we can convert maybe from miles to kilometers using our conversion sheet is to get it down to inches and centimeters. That's how we move between metric and English, inches and centimeters. So we've got to change those miles into feet, working our way down. One mile is 5,280 feet. That gets rid of the miles. We still have feet. We don't want feet. So we get rid of the feet by putting them in the denominator and we can change feet into inches. One foot is 12 inches. And now the feet are gone. But we don't want inches either, so we need to get rid of the inches by putting them in the denominator and this is how we're going to move over to the metric system by changing the inches into centimeters. One inch is 2.54 centimeters. And so the inches divide out but we still don't want centimeters. So we do another conversion factor. We can keep going all day until we finally get the units we want. To get rid of centimeters, they have to go in the denominator. They're already in the numerator. And we can change centimeters into meters. One meter is 100 centimeters. Centimeters are gone. But we don't want meters. So we do another conversion factor. To get rid of meters, they go in the denominator and we can finally change meters into kilometers. One kilometer is 1,000 meters. Meters are gone. We finally have the kilometers we want. No longer in miles, we're now in kilometers. But we still have to convert the denominator. Fortunately, this is going to be much easier. We've got hours in the denominator. We don't want hours, so they go in the opposite place, the numerator, so that they can divide out. And we want to change those into minutes, and we know that one hour is 60 minutes. Hours are gone. We're just left with minutes in the denominator like we want. The work is done. The calculator can pick it up from here. First converting the numerator, then the denominator, one conversion factor at a time until we get the units we want. So 25 times 5,280 times 12 times 2.54 times 1 times 1 times 1, we get 4,023,000 kilometers, running out of space here, over 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 100 times 1,000 times 60 is 6 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros on it. Minutes. So we divide by 6 million and we get 0.67 056, if we want, want to be really accurate, kilometers per minute. So dual units, we'll convert one unit at a time, numerator then denominator, showing our units, showing our work every step along the way to make our conversion.